Hello everyone, long time no see. It has been quite a while since I uploaded a video and a number of reasons for that. Uh, first of all, just in China, the price of uh, vintage cards, I think are just outlandish uh, when I compare it to the United States. And so I've just kind of forced myself to slow down uh, but also in personal life and endeavors, I have my second boy and, you know, just puts things in perspective that probably, oh, hey buddy. Okay, you're going to get hair all over expensive stuff. Can we stay off for now? Thank you. Um, yeah, had my, uh, had a second boy and, well, my wife had him, but I helped uh, nine months ago. Come on. Um, so my cat's not camera shy. And uh, puts things in perspective. Got to control spending, uh, save money, that sort of thing. And, you know, I've talked about and people talk about, you know, investing in vintage magic cards. It can be investing. But at the same time, it's very risky. And I don't want to put a lot of money into it. Um, when I don't have other investments well taken care of. So, slow down on purchasing. Uh, but I just recently got back from visiting the States and per picked up one card that I'll show in a second. And then I just recently bought this one because I thought it was a pretty good deal. So, let's take a look. Um, what has happened magic-wise since then? So I did my second RCQ in China, and I won, actually. Qualified for the regional championship, and I went to the regional championship and played terribly and was terribly unlucky. And with that, un that combination, uh, I had no chance and scrubbed out really quickly. Uh, played blue black control and standard probably not the right deck choice but i it, it was the one i feel comfortable with you know I, with a full-time job and family i don't have a lot of time to play test so i just gotta in a situation like that with the regional championship i just found a deck that i i got comfortable with and um i thought i had a great matchup against uh the most popular decks in the format but yeah, I played pair. I played really poorly, and uh, so I did not deserve to win. And yeah, and then I, like I said, I went back to the states and got a look at my old vintage collection that about a year ago was what inspired me to kind of start collecting in and have a midlife crisis and go back into magic. Um, after about a week last year and a week this year of trying to organize it, I am still very far away from getting it all organized. I got up to about Odyssey block uh, this this year in organizing it. Uh, the amount of cards that, uh, so everything from beta to Odyssey block. I never had alpha whenever I was a kid. Um, but the amount of cards like Cabal Ritual, Days, um, things like uh, Shallow Grave, um, that are now worth a lot of money. Um, Rhystic Study that I have like 20 copies of because they were just bulk back then is amazing. Uh, so eventually when I have time to go through it all, I will be able to maybe sell some of that and reinvest it into my alpha quest of completing. So got a really iconic card to show today. Not a rare, but Dark Ritual, very exciting to get. Um, obviously, uh, condition issues with this Dark Ritual. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, issues. Oh, thanks for getting your cat hair on things, uh, Moses. Uh, but, oh, very beautiful. Okay, come on, guy. Can you give me like two minutes? I've been out of the country and away from the house for so long that he will not, my cat will not leave me alone for two seconds while I'm here. He missed me so much. But, oh, beautiful. Love Dark Ritual. I had a lot of Dark Rituals in my old vintage collection. I mean, there's a Saga Dark Rituals, Unlimited Revised Dark Rituals, uh, I think Tempest, tons of Mercadian Mask Dark Rituals. 
Lots, 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 lots. Um, so cool going through that vintage, that old vintage collection and seeing all the, seeing all the old cards I used to play with. Very nostalgic. Um, but hope you enjoy getting to see that dark ritual. Uh, there's one other card that I bought at my old card shop that I went to as a kid. I stopped by while I was back home, back in the States, and I decided to pick up an alpha card while I was there to kind of commemorate my return. I've already added it to the binder, which, remember, this binder is going to be pretty empty. I still do not have one white alpha card, but... I picked up this bad boy, Psionic Blast. They listed it as Light Played Minus. It's in pretty good condition. I mean, Light Played, of course, but, you know, not near Mint, but very happy to get this Psionic Blast added to the collection. And now I can add Dark Ritual, which should go right here. Back in Alpha, you know, they didn't have a set number, but the generally agreed upon way to organize and the way they would have done a set number if it were printed today is white, then blue, then black, then red, then green, then multicolored, which they didn't have any in Alpha, and then artifacts and lands, and yeah, so... Uh, still a long ways to go with the Alpha Collection. I haven't added since the last video and showing you these two. But a lot of fun doing this. Sorry uh, if any of you do care to like these uh, like these videos. Thank you very much. Sorry I don't upload more often. Uh, just very busy with life. But hopefully this will be fun to look back on as the collection grows. Hope you all are doing great. And who knows next time I'll see you.